Hey, Ken here. Uh, I'm outside, another 90 degree day. I uh, pulled the bed out of the truck and flipped it over. Uh, yesterday I got a couple coats on the top. Uh, I didn't record that, but today I am uh, sealing up the bled, bed, 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 bed platform. Um, and what I'm using to do that is a 50-50 mix of uh, polyurethane and mineral spirits, an oil-based polyurethane. Um, and by thinning it that much, the wood really wicks it up. Uh, I'm not going crazy with a million coats. I want to carpet the top side of this, and before I do that, um, I want to make sure it's all sealed up so if it gets wet or the carpet gets wet, it doesn't rot the wood underneath it. So uh, I got my polyurethane down on this. Like I said, the top side is already done. Next up is going to be the drawer here, um, and I have a couple different ideas for the drawer. Yesterday, I was able to finish sealing up the platform here, so my uh, uprights are all sealed up and the uh, the bottom side's all sealed up. Got to give that a couple days before I can carpet it. Um, so in the meantime, we're going to tackle the drawer slide situation. Um, this is a little tough to get in and out and it likes to move around. So um, I could put another support here and then put some slides in. Um, but one slide, really long slides like this are super expensive. And between the slides and the support, I'd lose a bunch of space here. So my solution is to use roller blade wheels um, mounted directly to the drawer and they will ride in the grooves of the truck bed. Uh, it looks like the spacing will work out pretty well for that and uh, give me a better sliding action and without taking up a ton of room. Um, sit inside here. I got these super sweet roller blades on Facebook Marketplace for dirt cheap. Uh, so I gotta take those apart and hopefully those wheels will work for me. And let's see what kind of shape the bearings are in. This one, it's not great, but I don't know that I really need it to be great. <laughs> uh, a little rusty, I might squirt some, some lube in there, but I think it'll work for my purposes. Um, let me get these all apart and then uh, see what kind of hardware I can use to uh, mount them on the drawer. Yeah, I've got some hair and all kinds of, yeah, it's not bad either. And they're nice and stylish and pink. I got these all cleaned up. They cleaned up pretty good and uh, lubed up. For hardware, I'm going to use a quarter 20 uh, machine screws. And their head is pretty low profile. Um, they fit in the little sleeve perfectly. And then I'm going to use a washer as a spacer between this and the drawer itself. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use six or eight. One of the wheels has a bad bearing. Um, I think that I could use it anyway um, because the washer should kind of hold things together. Um, but I haven't decided on that yet. I'm going to pull the drawer out and see what our spacing and everything is like. Um, but first I'm going to measure where I have to drill the holes for these. I have a piece of PVC uh, trim under here as a little shim. You can see the wheels will roll in these tracks. Um, and it looks like if I make my hole basically right above the, uh, the plywood there, I think that I'm going to go as close to the plywood as I can and still be able to get a nut on the other side.
So the way I did the spacing on these wheels is that this one drops in to there, and this one just overhangs, so that when it's there, uh, it kind of like locks into place just, just there. I mean, I can keep pulling it out and then push it in, but it acts like a little detent to want to settle right there. And that's for when we use this as a table, we can have a pot of coffee or something. This isn't um, rolling super easy. And then I'm probably going to shave a little bit off of here just to ease it going in and out. Um, it doesn't have any real lateral movement, um, but just in case it shifts or whatever, that'll help guide it into place. But our spacing worked out absolutely perfect to be using uh, the bed rails as a guide. And I'm pretty happy with it. Thanks for joining me with this drawer modification. I think it's a pretty simple solution uh, we'll see how it works in practice, but uh, it was getting to be a pain in the neck trying to haul a big long drawer out um, without any kind of assistance. Uh, plus, it'd probably wear on the bed a bit. So, uh, I'm stoked to try this out. Next up uh, is carpeting the bed here and finishing off the little panels to fill the voids on the side. But, see you next time.